Hey guys, it's Chief from Spreadshot Games, and as I anticipate this ass beating that St. Louis is going to put on Detroit tonight, I figured I'd ask you guys a question, so stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, my question for you, and the very first question I've done so far on this channel, is what game got you into to be a so-called gamer? Like, what video game did you play that made you somewhat take gaming a little bit more seriously? Whereas, like, you know, if you were a kid growing up and playing, you know, you had fun with Mario or whatever you were playing. For me, it was stuff like Crash Bandicoot and Pokemon and stuff. But when you got a little older and you got that one game that made you realize, like, hey, a decent narrative story can be told through the media of a video game. A little bit more mature stuff and you realize that maybe games weren't so childish and cartoony and more about that they could be serious. And, like, you took them to heart as you might have taken, like, a drama, you know, epic movie to heart and paid attention to the story and really cared about the characters and stuff. Uh, for me, growing up, when I was getting into, like, middle school and stuff, the first game that kind of did it for me was this one, Chrono Cross on PlayStation 1. Uh, I wasn't too involved with the story because it is kind of like that sappy JRPG-ish type game. But it did, I did kind of care. And plus that game, it's serious in a way, I guess. But there's also, you know, you can put a skeleton clown in your party and stuff like that. So it's not, you know, a giant talk or giant pink talking dog in your party. So it's not, it's not the most serious game, but... It kind of shed a little bit of light and got me into, you know, playing a little bit older games. Another one was kind of uh, um, Ocarina of Time on the N64. I remember playing that at my neighbor's house and kind of realizing, like, wow, this is an epic adventure story and stuff. That's kind of, you know, and I viewed those games when I played them when I was younger as, like, a big kid game and stuff, I guess you could say. But those kind of got my feet wet. But the one game that really turned me on to realizing, you know, games games can be on par with almost movies and stuff in terms of story or even a, a great book and stuff was uh, was this game, Metal Gear Solid 2: Sons of Liberty. Now I remember, I remember when I got this game, uh, is back when my mom and stepdad first got married and we were at like a toy store or something in the mall and like I was looking at video games and stuff and my stepdad was just like you like games and stuff like that and yeah and back then I remember I think like I was playing a lot of Red Faction which is a first person shooter is a great great first person shooter very overlooked but um he's like what kind of games you like I was like well I'm playing like Red Faction right now, and he's like, what kind of game is that? I was like, ah, oh, you just shoot people and stuff, and, uh, so he asked the guy behind the counter, he's like, so what's a good shooter game, or whatever, and the guy just said, like, definitely pick up this game, and that guy was like, you know, like, 25 years old, but, uh, you know, he was an older guy, and I guess he was experiencing this too, and knew it was, you know, a very, very good story. Carney, sit down. Get out of here. My dog's bothering me. But, you know, and like, I was looking at the game box and stuff, and I, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. I don't have the game box with me. I think I still have my original copy in Illinois, but I do have the guide. I picked this up cheap at like a yard sale or something. But I remember looking at the game being like, what? And, like, the guy's just like, yeah, you sneak around and you're really not supposed to kill anybody. And I was like, where the hell's the fun in that? And, you know, I, I took it home. I put the game in. And, you know, right away I was getting caught a lot and uh, dying a lot. And I got stuck. I didn't know what to do and everything. And then one, like, I put it away forever. I never played it. I was like, man, that game's stupid. And then uh, one day I just picked it up and I put it in. And I, I get found out what to do. I wasn't stuck anymore. And, like, and like as soon as I started getting past that, the part where you're in 
uh, the tanker and you find Metal Gear Ray and, you know, Ocelot takes it and sinks the boat, you know, from that point on I was like, holy crap, and I was just hooked on the story and I just wanted to play more and more to find out more about this story, more about these weird characters um, and all this crazy stuff and, you know, you were switching up and there was a ninja cutting people up in a hallway and you just wanted to find out, it, you know, what what happens next and, you know, who are these people and what's going on and, you know, I think even if you know about Metal Gear, like, you still kind of ask that question, be like, what the, what the fuck, what's going on, like, but Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty really did it for me, I was hooked on the series ever since, and it's really, Metal Gear is one of my favorite game franchises now, uh, to this day, but that's what got me to look at video games in a different light. I just want to know, what do you guys, like, what games did you play, games or game did you play that made you realize that, you know, the video games weren't all about, you know, jumping on turtles and stuff like that. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, but just a game that you played that made you look at video games in a different light. Uh... You can comment or make a video response. A video response would be great, especially in my first uh, question that I've asked. But um, I'm really, really eager to hear what you guys think because I thought this was a really cool question. But uh, anyway, I'll see you guys star side. I'm Chief from Spreadshot Games. See ya.